All right, everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about the RSI, how you can use the RSI to become a better trader and time your entries and exits using technical analysis. So we have on this chart here, we have the RSI, we have the oversold and we have the overbought and oversold conditions here. And then on the chart, we have the previous uh, days high and low. So you can see the low here. Here's the previous days high. All right. So. We want to look at the RSI. Now we can move this here in the subgraph here. So it gives us, uh, so we can scale this in the subgraph. And what we want to do is just become familiar with the components here. So the RSI is basically a momentum indicator used in technical analysis. It has, uh, traders usually evaluate two conditions. This is the overbought and oversold. So this is the 30 70 reading and you can go into directly into the indicator here. And as soon as when you select the indicator, it actually brings um, that's that specific indicator in focus. Right. And you can see the oversold and then overbought conditions. Right. Are 30, 70. That's going to be your readings here on a chart. And we're going to look at a few examples here. But just because a stock hits the oversold uh, level here, that reading does not necessarily mean that is an entry. That just means that it might be a good idea to kind of review your information here you can look at the level two time and sales window you can also uh, review news on the zero pro platform to get an idea of what's really going on behind the scenes so you want to look at the fundamental and technical perspective of what's going on so with the rsi just like a stock where you have uh, relative strength and then rel relative weakness you also have the same conditions that exist here in the rsi where it, sometimes it consolidates Sometimes you can see patterns, right, where it retests a certain level. And you can also, in, in our platform here, we can actually select the color, the line style, the weight here, and we can, um, we can draw basically like trend lines here on the RSI. So sometimes that uh, helps us, right, kind of get an idea of where, where the levels are or what's going on behind the scenes here, just to just kind of gauge the strength or weakness of of the RSI. So let me just go ahead and come back to the cross here and we can take a look at some of the other possibilities here using the RSI. So you can see that we got to this reading right here. Um, stock spiked up, got hit the overbought 70 level right here, right? And then came back in. So again, very important indicator because sometimes it does it does give you an idea of where the security, where the price, the momentum is going to pretty much stall out at. You can also see right here, pre-market right at the bell, we had a good opportunity, right? To review the data here and kind of get an idea to see where this could go. You can see again, the how, how this worked out. Let's take a look at some of the other stocks that we have on our list. And you can see sometimes the RSI just consolidates right here at the 50 level reading right here. So let's take a look at stock here. And you can also see sometimes that sometimes it does go above the overbought level here. And that reading sometimes can stay consistent and consolidate and even go higher. So I'm just going to type in uh, some other securities here that are popular. You can see right here. Uh, that Tesla did, you can see how the RSI was strengthening here, right? Again, if we draw our trend line right here, you can kind of get an idea of where this might give you a perspective of the where this might go. Again, just using a trend line, you can see that there was a possibility for the RSI based on these two points here to go above the 70 level here, this reading right here, and it did, it did exactly that. So was this an opportunity to short? No, not really. So it wasn't until the reading got up to almost 90 on the RSI to, before the stock even had, uh, you know, a pullback, which was a very minor pullback. Again, you have to put everything into perspective. You can see the configuration here on the averages, how Tesla kind of lined up. The RSI again was had this one period interval of strength. Again, took a break here, tried to retest the um, this 30 reading here, the 30 level here, and again just it popped back up again. 
sometimes in, in stock trading, you have one event will kind of uh, repeat itself. So history sometimes repeats itself, not always the case. But again, just get familiar with the RSI, how to use the, the drawing tools here on the Zero Pro platform to give you an idea of what to expect. All right, trend lines are important on the subgraph just as they are important here on the actual graph itself.